hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a different style of content video than what i'm normally what than what i normally do um someone asked me to do a video on the hair care products i use for me and the kids because i normally cut my hair every may because it is always a negative month for me um in may is when i lost one of my closest cousins we were basically like brother and sister we lived together for a large part of our life and losing him so suddenly made me hate having hair like it made me hate having long hair it was like one of the things that he bragged about he loved my hair he never wanted me to cut my hair and when i lost him i chopped it all off and i have been doing it since then i lost him in 2014 so in 2015, 16, I cut my hair short, like bob short. And this is the first year I didn't cut my hair. And it has gotten quite long. Let me show you exactly how long my hair is. It's about bra length. So I'm not that tall, but so it seems like it's touching my butt, but a little under the boob. Um, now, London has never had a haircut she gets her ends clipped by me because I'm scared somebody's going to chop off way too much. Um, she loves having long hair and um, I've always used the same products in her hair forever until recently. And then Joe, his hair just started to grow. And three major tips I have for people who try to grow out kids hair um, that I know a lot of people are going to look at kind of weird. But one... Do not wash their hair as often. Um, I know a lot of people wash their hair at least like once a week or once every other day. Do not. Do not. I, even for myself, don't wash my hair that often. And although it sounds gross, stripping your hair tends to make it more vulnerable to break off. So, I do not recommend washing your hair that often. I personally wash my hair once a month twice a month sometimes depending in the summertime i wash it a lot more often but i don't it's not that i don't wash it i just don't shampoo it so i still cleanse my hair i still will wet it um and i'll either put a deep conditioner in or a regular conditioner um for the kids i wash their hair twice a month once at the beginning of the month and once halfway through the month and i still do the same thing condition their hair when needed um with that being said i'm going to get into the products that i use for us now since london what london turned one um is when i found the just for me hair milk the just for me hair milk is what i use for london's hair i have the shampoo the conditioner and the moisturizer but um for the purpose of this video i only brought out this 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 is the conditioner and I will post the links to everything wherever I can find it. I always buy mine from Walmart because it's the cheapest that I've ever found it. And they always have the full set. Recently, I've been loving this for her hair because it leaves it a little bit more moisturized than the Just For Me Hair Milk. If your child has normal hair, if it's not coarse or thick, then I'm sure that'll work perfect but because her hair is so thick and it sucks up so so much moisture it needs a little bit more so this i find is a little bit better of a conditioner for her and then i'll go right behind it and use the aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner which is really good too so both of these together the three minute miracle conditioner and the hair insurance been working really well with her hair for joe because he is a little bit younger and his hair is a lot thinner than london's although it, he has a nice amount of it he's a lot thinner this still works perfectly for him now on to products i use for myself it's pretty much whatever i'm feeling at the moment i don't use anything super high-end or super like Oh, for natural girls, uh, kinky, curly, blue bliss. I don't, my money is not there. So I use products that are cheap, but work. So 
hence that I use Cantu. Cantu works extremely well. It is so fake free, really good for natural hair. It does the job. It cleanses your hair perfectly fine. And the conditioner works amazing to me. Prior to getting the Cantu, I would use this, which I think I got from Sam's Club. Either I got it from Sam's or Meyer. But it is the Rinse Pure Original Coconut Cream. And it's like almost gone. Coconut Cream. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. And it works. And it also has somewhat of a fragrance to it. So if you want something a little bit more scented, this works and it's scented. The Cantu is not very, it's not scented at all. It just cleans your hair and get the job done. That's it. The coconut does have, to me, a strong scent, which Landon likes. He uses it. I fell off the bandwagon of that and I was using the Cantu more often than not. And if you watch my vlog, then you know I I didn't splurge. My mother splurged and decided to get the Estee Natural Hair Care Products, the Carmelux. And it is a, this is a trio. So if you have, so if you have a little extra time and, you know, want to splurge on and treat your hair, this trio is really nice. You got the caramel pre-treatment you use this first and you put it all in your hair rub it all through your hair put a shower cap on let it sit then once that sits does its job do the caramel then use the shampoo let the shampoo do its job wash all the sticky caramel out then you will go behind do the conditioner leave that on for a bit then rinse it out to me like for my hair personally it did not do much for me it did not like how you see those videos and like the girl's hair be silky straight and all of that it did not do that for me but it did do it for london it did wonders for london hair it made it so easy to detangle when she got out the shower it was i could literally just glide the brush through which this is the brush i use for london hair it's dirty it's it's well loved and it is the Michael Mercier Professionals uh, Detangling Brush. We are down to just the green one, but we had the green one and the blue one, multiple of them. But that's what I use to detangle her hair. And after using the three-step process of the Estee, her hair was so easy to detangle. And it was just so easy to work with. So, like I said, although it didn't work for me, I'm sure it might work for a lot of people. And it did wonders for London hair. I just don't see myself going through three steps to do it. Like it takes you about two hours to wash your hair because you have the caramel that you let sit for 20 minutes to an hour. Then you have the shampoo, which you just shampoo it twice. And then you have the conditioner that sits on your hair for 15 to 30 minutes. So with all of that combined, it's a two hour hair wash. You're not gonna feel like doing your hair after that. Like I really didn't. I did this in two steps. I washed my hair one day, then the next day I styled it because it was just too much for me. Now, if you are a supernatural, leaving your hair in its natural state, then it might not be that troublesome for you because you're leaving your hair to air dry anyway. But because I don't like to leave my hair in its natural state too often um, because I tend to fall off the bandwagon. That's why I would say that. I want to, and I also want to insert a couple pictures of protective styles or growing styles that I use for London because I know a lot of people who watch me have children of their own and, you know, are looking for ways to grow out their kids' hair or styles they can use for their kids to, in the growing stage. And number one is the beads, the, um, like, the head full of beads for London that had her, it constantly kept her hair growing. I, first time I did her hair like that was for her first birthday. And after that, I would do it for a week, rest a week, ponytails for, a, and then I'd do like ponytails or natural curls. And then... Like basically every two weeks or every third week, 
I would put her hair in these beads and every single time I did it, it grew. Every time I took it out, it grew, it grew, it grew. And it's also what I used for gel in the beginning. It was not beaded, but it was the same ponytail system of having the individual ponytails and then transition to braids and I did like a lot of braid protective styles for the hair and that's what I use to keep the hair growing because if it's just out and it's hanging and it's everywhere it's more susceptible it's more likely to get damaged snagged pulled and all of that so if you have it in these protective styles it keeps it from all of those potential damaging things so but honestly you don't need a lot of products you don't need a long routine you don't have to go through all of that to get your hair to grow or get your hair to be healthy because naturally things will happen but if nothing else i want you to remember my two tips one quit washing your hair every day quit washing it so often and to let it breathe that's it it's really simple i know i didn't blow nobody mind i'm sorry but that's just honestly what i use for me and the kids hair on a regular basis um i do recommend checking these products out because they are really good and like i said if you want to splurge i do recommend this estee for people it's Please don't go based off of the fact that it didn't work for my hair. But think about the fact that it worked for London's hair. It was really, really good. So if you have thicker hair or have a lot or your hair needs a little more TLC, it's perfect for you. But if your hair basic and it don't need a lot of help and it's already, you know, healthy, go with the cheaper side and try the can too. Try that out and see how that works for you. For me... It's my favorite out of all of the things we have here, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a more in-depth review on any of these products, I will do that for you. And don't forget to check out the links of everything or where you can get them, price them, see what you might want. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.